I'm back, guys. Now, it just took a little minute for me to realize how I'm going to give you guys the videos. But, you know, I was going to come back. You know, I was going to clarify, give you guys a clear review. You know, I told you guys I'm taking this YouTube serious. So, here you guys go. I'm going to give you guys multiple videos. So, we're going to start off with the reviewing in part two. Now, no copyright needed. Go watch it on Zeus. I'm not... I'm going to give you guys clips and bits of it, but go watch it on Zeus. You know, Zeus Network. Download it on the app. You know, that's where Baddies is on. You can watch it. So we're going to do this reviewing at one time for the one time. Okay? Now, this scene right here is Tinkabella um, explaining about the weird shit with Meatball. Now, if they did have problems prior before the show... Or whatever issues they had going on before the situation when they went on air. I still feel like, you know, Meatball came out with what she was saying was giving hating vibes. Like, yes, Meatball won that. The one on the couch definitely won that. Now, the first two was a tie. Like, you know, when I go back to reviewing it, watching it, you know, guys, I'm not biased. You know, with what Meatball was saying, if you guys go back and watch it, Meatball was saying some hurtful shit. And then when Tinkerbella did an interview, I forgot what interview she did, where she was speaking of the situation and she had felt like how, you know, Meatball felt hurt that she left her in Philly. I mean, yeah, you, I mean, I'm pretty sure some of my friends felt that when I left New York, coming to Alabama and, you know, doing a new start for me. But that's for me, though. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's for me to better my life and for me to be happy with where I'm at in life. Like, you know, the people that I was surrounded by were bad people, you know, bad energy. So, you know, me being in a good hair space and me being in my own space, like, in my own place, it's like, come on. You can't get any better than that. So, what's the next part? What's the next part? I think this part is like, Jay, um, Tinkerbella kept trying to follow me ball, which was a little corny. Cause you know, when somebody's tired, I'm the type of person to give you a break. Yeah. I know people be like, Oh, a fight is a fight. And you know, you could do this and that during a fight, but it's like, yeah, but if the person's tired, like, aren't you fighting yourself? Like, do you really want to be known for the person who beat somebody up for being tired? Like, you know, that was never my style. Like I never wanted to like fight people because of that and stuff like that. Let me see what else. Now, Saucy was doing his thing. Now, I know a lot of people gave him, like, you know, biased comments and saying stuff like that, like saying he wasn't fair. No, he was fair. And I'm going to get on a topic that he did, which made me like him even more because it's like, ooh, I was so happy that he spoke up and said something and called people out because it's like, come on now. Like, come on now. Don't call me your friend on media and stuff like that. But, you know, never really show me you my friend like, What's up? Like, I'm about to show you guys, like, for real. Let me see where it's at. All right, now, here is where Meatball was crying. Like, you know, Meatball was crying a lot during the reunion. And, you know, she was saying how she was hurt with the whole Tinkerbella thing. Is. But I know two, there's two kind of definition of friends. Which I don't know. I mean, I've been there. I mean, I don't ever want to be there again. Okay, so some people say sometimes you have to fight your real friends. So they're your real friends. And then sometimes, you know, they say real friends don't fight. I'm here on both sides. I did fight my friend and we are still friends. But if I could go back in time and not fight my friend at all, I would do that and whatnot. And then there's other friends like, you know, even though, you know, they don't fight. But if we did fight, we probably would still be friends now. Because, you know, some friends be trying you. And, you know, you keep telling yourself, they my friend, they my friend. But it's like, they forgot. So it's like, sometimes if they forgot, I should forget and just, you know, whoa. But, you know, that's besides the point. Okay, that's besides the point. Hold on, guys. Give me just one quick second. Okay, now let's go here. This was Tommy walking back on the stage with, with her, with me ball. Yeah, you know, she was training Meatball up, and, you know, I like that. Like, you know, Meatballs was cool peoples and whatnot. Now my favorite part, Diamonds of Hardy. Yes, you know, I love me some Diamonds of Hardy. I love me some Diamonds of Hardy, you know. She always gives me what needs to be given. I love me some Diamonds of body and whatnot, you know. Natalie's so scary, girl. She got up so fast. Look at that. That girl stood up so fast. Like, she got up so fast. She was, like, up, like, 
And let me tell you about the whole situation. And look, the whole time you can just tell personality or not, Diamond's always smiling. And let me touch topic on Diamond real quick. Now, one thing about that whole fight situation is Tashiki was definitely playing with Diamond. So we're not even going to sit here and bash Diamond. I don't even know how Diamond Faith was even like that. Maybe Tashiki really do hit hard like people say. It's not even a maybe. I mean, to E.T., Jelly, Diamond would well, know. I mean, Jay would know too. But, you know, Diamond came on happy. As you can see, I just showed you, she was very happy. Maybe I'll give you guys a little TTT with the fight. Just a, a little TTT with the fight. But, I mean, I know Natalie was being real scary. And what I don't like about Natalie and Scotty is I had to touch base on that. I hated the fact that Scotty and Natalie was talking shit. Like, talking about, she's out of here, she's out of here. That's all Natalie said, but girl, you was acting scared when you were saying she's out of here, she's out of here, trying to play her. And then you got Scotty over here, you should be talking all that online. I'm like, girl, do you really want me to catch your tea? Because you really have no storyline. You're literally only there because a Lemmy. God forbid Lemmy dies right now and Janasia takes over the first order of business. You're fired. Your services is no longer needed. Thank you for your services, Sony style. Earn the nerds of Roche. Get no to fire him. Like, come on now, girl. Like, I hate when people do that. Like, when a fight happened, girl, you wasn't getting down in the pain. You wasn't fighting. Please shut up. Like, you wasn't fighting. Shut up. Like, I hate when people's like that. Like, I hate when people's not talking and whatnot. And Diamond called it out. Diamond, like, are we talking? Are we doing dialogue? And then, you know, Tasiki told us they wasn't talking. Tasiki told them they was ready. And, you know... She pulled her wig off. Diamond is a clown for pulling her wig off trying to fight her. Like, Diamond is a clown. Diamond is a big old clown for that one. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, she's out for the hands up. She's swinging. Oh, Tommy didn't go. So, and if you watch the fight, Tashiki definitely was playing with her. Like, I swear, she really was playing with her. You guys may not think she was playing with her, but she really was playing with her. And then, boom, you know, I'm going to give you guys a little TT with Slim and Diamond. I don't know why Diamond be playing herself. She definitely beat up Slim. Like, I don't know why she even be playing herself, too. Talking about some she don't be winning and stuff like that. Like, I don't like that. Like, I don't like that at all. Like, I hate that. Like, girl, you be winning, and then you be having these people thinking that they really don't be doing something. Like, mm -mm. I don't like that at all. Like, that, right, there, I didn't like. Um... What else happened that I want to call out? Because it's something I want to call out. There's something I want to call out. Okay. There's something I want to call out. I want to call this out. Yeah, I wanted to fast forward it to call this out. Scary. All them escape for letting this happen. Why didn't nobody did that in the Cali? Girl, but look at that. Chokehold. Choco, you didn't like that one, did they? Who? Choco, you didn't like that one, did you? You didn't like that one, did you? Choco, 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 like, come on, that was corny. That was corny. Come on, that was corny. Like, you know that was corny. Like, that was corny. Like, what are y'all doing the whole jumping for? And it's like, girl, you know what I'm And then I don't like the fact that they were like, oh, let Callie get her, let Callie get her. Please let Callie attempt to get her so she could do Callie like she did Callie the first time. What was Callie gonna get? And then people really online talk about some Gretchen did her big one. Gretchen been doing her big one. I'm not biased. Gretchen been doing her big one. Gretchen did her big one when they all jumped her in the house for saying the N-word. Gretchen did her big one when she fought on the beach. And Gretchen definitely did her big one when she fought. Um Maroli snuck her. They were all doing, she was always doing her big one, but she didn't do her big one with Jayla at that reunion. She never do her big one when she goes up against Jayla because Jayla do her in every time. And the fact that Callie really tried to jump in and stack fire had to. Lock it in real quick. It just, just, I would have just, you know, put a... And just put it to sleep real quick. Because it's like, girl, what are you doing? Like, come on. It's like, uh-uh. And then what else? I think there's something else that I want to call. I think it's the... um. I'm over here trying to rush to get by. I don't even think I even seen the... Okay, let me see. Get to it, get to it, come on. I'm trying to get y'all to honor and no, no. Okay, here she go. Here she go. Cause girl, I be a little confused. She had that, Anna had that. I'm not even gonna lie, look, Anna had that, look. Anna had her, look, Anna had her. Anna had her, I don't care, Anna had her. She attempted to part Anna, but you know, Anna, she, she's big. But Anna still was swinging. 
You know, but Ana still was swinging, though. You know, she had Ana that first round. You know, but Ana was still swinging. Ana wasn't scared. And Nunu looked like she got beat up, though. And look at that. Second round, Ana was just throwing blows, blows. And look at, look at Saucy. Look at Saucy confirming that Ana was just throwing blows at her. Ana was just throwing blows at her. Ana didn't care at that point. At that point, Ana didn't care. And I like that. I like that. I like that. And people kept trying to make it seem like, people kept trying to make it seem like, you know, people was being um, on the loss. Honor didn't lose. You know, Honor's really small. And I'm not trying to say size about anything. Honor is just a tiny girl. So, you know, anybody can overpower Honor, push her on the chair, push her on the floor, you know, get her on the floor, you know, flip her. Like, you know, any girl will have the opportunity to do that to Honor because, you know, Honor is tiny. But don't ever make it seem like Honor did not keep throwing her hands. Even if Honor was on the couch, hands was being thrown, feet was being thrown. Honor was throwing hands and them sis was connecting. I don't know what Nunu was doing because you see Honor's face. You see Honor's wig was still on. I'm just being honest. Anna wig was still on. Anna didn't have nothing wrong with her face. And Nunu's face was all messed up because just to go show you, you say you was going to break her face. She's going to make it her mission to F up yours. That basically what she was doing. And then there's only one more part I got to mention that I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and whatnot. I love this scene. I love this scene. Look, I love this scene. I love this scene. Yeah. 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 I love that scene. I love that scene. You jumped on Nunu, which you had a valid reason to do. You snapped Bianca goggles while they all was teaming up on her. You were corny for that, and they gave you what you were supposed to be gave. <laughs> Back again with another video soon.